Hi everyone, it's Taylor. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm an American expat living in Malaysia and I like to share my life and travels with you. Well today I'm up on the roof as you can see and I'm finally going to give you a tour of my apartment now that it's all finished. Well, mostly finished anyway. Sound interesting? Stay tuned! Well, first of all, isn't it stunning up here? And I have the best news. As you can see here, after just a little prodding, they got the roof plunge pool going. And I used it yesterday, and it was so fun. I can't wait to come up here and sit in the pool at sunset sometime soon. But here I'm going to show you some of the views from up here, from all around. I think you'll agree it's pretty stunning. It's a pretty amazing view. It's similar to mine. Of course, it's more panoramic up here, but that's to be expected. But gosh, I love this roof deck now. And I'll start off here by showing you a little bit of the amenities that I showed you before. The wonderful giant pool and the tennis courts and the basketball court and my own pool. No, I call it my pool because I've never seen anyone else in it except me. But now I have my little private pool on the roof. Now, of course, it's not private. But it seems private because I don't think anybody knows about it yet. So that's a cool thing. So yeah, look at these few shots around the complex. You know, I'm getting to like it more and more as I stay here. It's been a couple of months now. so pleasant to walk around and I noticed the other day that a lot of the walkways are covered so you can walk around and get your exercise even if it's raining. I've run into some neighbors out there and everyone's so friendly and say good morning, good morning. It's just a nice feeling here. I really love it. Now I'm going to show you the apartment in daylight, in nightlight, and the way I like it light. I think it films the best at night. Put it in the comments if you agree. But I want to point out some things you can look at because I'm not going to have a voiceover on the tour. Just some nice music for y'all. I love the little niche by the front door where I have the fake candles now. I think it's such a nice touch when people come in. And I like having an entry hall. My old apartment, you were just thrust right into the kitchen. Now, of course, the kitchen is right after the entrance hall, but it's still off to the side and you mostly focus on the view. I didn't have to buy hardly anything new for the living room and dining room because I'd already gotten the orange accents at my last place. And I didn't have to buy any art. In fact, I still have some in the closet. 
When you first enter the living area on the right, that's the one place I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. I don't think it looks quite right as it is. And I'm thinking of getting a glass bookcase, sort of display case, to just have some decorative objects there. What do you think? I think it would look better. Also, please note that in the new room, the den guest room, that there's one of the dining room chairs there until I can find a suitable chair to go there. But I think it works okay for now. But I love that room and I spend a lot of time there because it's dark and cool during the day, even without the aircon. One thing you should make note of when you're looking for an apartment in Malaysia is that there's just different levels. Things that make it stand out as a little bit more upscale. Now, I'm not saying mine is super upscale because I'm certainly not paying a high rent, but it does have some of the amenities of an upscale unit. For instance, in the living room, dining room, and kitchen, it has polished travertine marble floors, which are lovely. Now, most places would just have a plain white tile. Also, one thing that makes it even more special is how wide the living area is. My goodness, when you look at apartments here, some of them are so narrow, it doesn't look like you can get your sofa far enough away from the TV. But my living area is very wide, as you'll see when you watch the video. Also, notice that there's windows on all three sides of the apartment. And another thing that makes it look a little bit more upscale is the bedroom, the dressing room, and the guest room all have beautiful wooden floors. That's just a nice, more elegant touch, I think. Plus, it has a bathtub, and that's kind of unusual here, too. So after today, I'm not going to be torturing you with more and more videos of my apartment unless I do something new to it. But I just thought everybody wanted to see the final result. So sit back, relax, and watch the video. I hope you enjoy it.
So what did you think of that? Let me know in the comments if you'd like it. Let me know if you have any suggestions. Not sure I would take them, but you know, I can listen. And let me know what you think about putting that glass display case near the entrance. And maybe some suggestions on what chair I should put in the den. But like I said, I've gotten so comfortable here now and I'm so glad I moved. I think it's just going to be the best place for me ever. If you liked today's video, please like and subscribe and check the notification bell too. That way you won't miss any of my future videos. Also, as you know, I now have Buy Me A Coffee. And I really appreciate it when you guys buy me a coffee. I think many of you would be surprised how little money I make from YouTube. And it seems to have gotten less. So I don't know what, what it is with them. But thank goodness, with my buy me a coffee, it fills the gap. Thank you so much. Well, that's all I have for today. I think I'm going to go back down to my apartment, put on my bathing suit, and come up and enjoy my private pool. Well, you know what I mean. But that's it for today, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.